Hello, my name is Reef and today I am reviewing Eve no Jikan, the movie, also known as Time of Eve. A brilliant anime that showcases the daily life in a dystopian future and all its moral dilemmas. Here's a synopsis of it. In the near future, probably in Japan, long after robots, robots have been put to practical use, and not so long since human type robots or androids have appeared. Due to the Robot Ethical Committee, people take it for granted to treat robots as electronic appliances. However, because of their human appearance except for the halos above their heads, some humans, some humans called Dore, Dore K, are becoming too attracted to these androids, and this is causing new social problems. Riku, Riko has been taught to treat androids the way he does since he was a child. He does not think of androids as human beings and uses them as useful tools. One day he discovers that ominous words were recorded in home android Sammy's activity log. Are you enjoying the time of Eve? Tracing her footsteps with his friend Masaki, they arrive at a strange cafe that has put up the slogan not to discriminate between human beings and androids. The anime starts with our protagonist Rico discovering something strange in his android Sammy's logs. He becomes suspicious about his android and decides to investigate. Rico and his friend Masaki discover a cafe where they meet a variety of colorful characters. Through the various interactions, both Rico and Masaki start to change their preconceptions of how things are and should be, and both get over their own personal issues. The use of both Asimov's three laws of robot robotics and the questions asked in Do Androids Dream of electronic she Electric Sheep are prevalent throughout this anime and used quite well. Um, when you watch it you'll notice how all of these things are interacting to create one th a story that's really really amazing in the sense of the word. Animation is done by Studio Rika. A studio with not many titles under its name, but if even a chicken is anything to go by, a studio to keep one's eye on. The anime is visually stunning in every way, um, from how the characters move and the realistic facial expressions to the smaller details in the background. Really, a lot of work has been put into this. The characters in Even Though are really one of this anime's many strong points. Usually in anime, in most anime, the main characters get a lot of focus and detail, but the side characters um, are usually just left out and there's not really much depth going into them. But in Even Though all the characters you meet have a lot of depth. Um, even a character you only see for a few scenes uh, for a slight minute has a lot more put into him than you can imagine. One thing that stood out is from the characters are done so well that it's sometimes hard to determine which is human and which it really isn't, which is a robot. I mean, some of the blatantly obvious robots even have very, very human traits to them. The soundtrack is by Okura Toru, who is also known for his work in Pell Cocoon and the Hunter x Hunter movie Phantom Rouge. Rouge. Uh, sometimes struggling to pronounce that word. Anyway, all the music did a great job of improving on the emotions portrayed in, portrayed in Even a Jikan. Also, the use of the sounds, everything really fit quite well. There's no music that really stood out for me, like a set song or something, but it was quite pretty impressive, pretty well done. In conclusion, Even a Jikan truly is one of the masterpiece anime of our time. The target demographic is for young adults, but I highly recommend everyone to watch it of any age group. I give it a rating of 9 out of 10, which is quite high. I never give anything a perfect rating though, because I don't believe anything can really be perfect. I will put a link to the AniDB page in the description below for you guys, so you can check it out for yourself. Um, so if you get a chance to watch this anime, you will not be disappointed. Anyway, I will see you guys again next time. Bye bye!